Gene here with a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stockman Fly. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it's a different uh, Ninja Turtle packaging now. Um, I'll show you the difference between the very first packaging to our current one right here, our new one, pretty much. But uh, as you can see, we have a nice uh, uh, CGI imagery here of the four turtles here. It says Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right here. It says here, Stockman Fly, uh, Turfly Turtles Ultimate Superhero Enemy. <laughs> so anyway, on the back of the box, uh, got a nice uh, uh, bio on Stockman Fly and, you know, a nice picture, uh, CGI uh, imagery of uh, Stockman Fly. And of course, as usual, on the on the back of the boxes of the Ninja Turtle packaging, we always get, you know, mainly a look at, you know, what we've gotten so far as far as the Ninja Turtle figure line. Pretty much known so, as uh, Baxter yeah. Stockman. But the Shredder grew tired of Baxter's failures and Razor put a mutagen collar around his neck and it burst and Baxter was in contact with a fly and so pretty much he became this and now he wants to retro mutagen to turn him human again. So uh, anyway, and so I don't know why he wants to go back to being human again, because he was none but a wimp. <laughs> but anyway, as you see, I am not really much of a fan of the figure here. Um, just something that's a little off about this figure. But I do like how I do like how Baxter looks as a fly on the show. But um, and I currently don't have the retro Baxter uh, Stockman. So, you know, um, I, I couldn't do a comparison with, you know, the 1980s to this one. But uh, anyway, looking at the face here, as you can see, he's got a big, big fly head, pretty much. Um, and, you know, uh, pretty much all I can see, friends, is he is probably lacking some paint on the head here. As you can see, he's got some hair right here. <laughs> pretty funny there. And on the back of the head there. Um, and pretty much you can see his arms are like a, a, you know, he's got a claw on one um, hand here. He's got a regular hand here. And uh, you can see his body, you know, you can see he's wearing uh, a sweater and some pants and shoes. So, not really much on that. But on the back here, as you can see, he's got wings. And uh, you can see the wings are nice see-through green. And you can, they are flex. They are flex, and you can uh, move them, you know, ma mainly articulation-wise. Um, but anyway, well, let's go ahead and uh, I'll uh, show you the articulation. He's got a ball joint on the head here, so you can pretty much make him spin, make him look around and everything, make him look evil. Uh, swivel on the arms. Uh, there are no rotation in the, uh, the elbows or the hands, sadly. But you can do uh, movement in the waist. And uh, swivel in the legs, and that's pretty much it. Um, and that was the one thing he is. The one thing he's lacking is like the uh, the uh, knee movement, making him stuck in his stance. But um, and just to warn you guys, and I've been noticing this, but my uh, stockman fly is um, very loose in like the uh, waist area. I don't know what it is, and it's very loose where the arms are. But um, not really bad. I I, I mean. I do like the Stockman Fly, but I just, I'm not really a fan of... Okay, and now the contents that come with the uh, Stockman Fly. And uh, this is pretty much fun. Uh, this is pretty much the only thing he gets. He gets this nice looking uh, candy bar. And uh, pretty much so he can eat on it. As you can see, he probably ate, ate it already. So, But you can have him put um, have it in his hand and he's eating it, you know, like, like this. Something like that, but if, it's a shame you can't get close to his mouth where he can eat it. But yeah, he's eating on his uh, candy bar, friends. <laughs> now, getting back to the wings here, and I'll just show you a little more on the wings back here. But yeah, you can you can move them. You can make him look like more real realistic, like he's flying, like in this uh, pose here. Or you could just have him, you know, like the wings spread out like this, like I was, uh, like I had it earlier. Whoop! And there goes the candy bar. But anyway. So yeah, that's what I want to show you guys and um, on the wings and pretty much the contents. Now with the so. Stockman Fly figure, you get two pamphlets. You get this pamphlet right here, which is all on the Team Machines. Well, I showed it to you guys when I was doing the Mutation Turtles uh, review, so please check those out. So I won't, I won't look at that one, but here's another pamphlet, and this is about future releases of other Ninja Turtle toys. And so I'm going to go ahead and get to the... Uh, 
the uh, six the uh, four inch standard uh, figures. But anyway, here is a check the checklist of all the Ninja Turtle figures that we have, in mainly the four inch scale. And I was actually surprised to see all this, but we are definitely getting a Karai Serpent and a Napoleon Bonafrog, which I got really excited because I love Napoleon Bonafrog. And then we have Artillo the Frog. Then we have Dark Beaver, Drill Beaver, uh, Monkey Brain, and get this, friends, we get a Muck Man. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with Muck Man in, in the, uh, the show, which I'm so excited about whenever I saw this pamphlet. I just okay, cannot wait to show Now let's go ahead, this. and uh, before we do size comparison with other Ninja Turtle figures with the Stockman Fly, let's go ahead and drag him aside here. But here is the Baxter Stockman that came out uh think like the second wave if I remember correctly but um, it's a shame you can't uh, take his head off here and put it on Stockman fly that'd be really cool but um you know like that so here they are face to face you know big difference see his hair <laughs> really really funny though but yeah, uh, so th this was old Baxter before he was mutated into this of course he was a human and he was in this um, this robot so but uh, anyway Okay, and now let's go ahead and do size comparison with other Ninja Turtle figures. And I decided to go ahead and throw in Donatello. And um, uh, side by side with uh, Stockman Fly, as you can see, Stockman Fly is taller than Donatello. So, you know, that's pretty much how, how it usually is. You know, the four turtles are usually shorter than other uh, characters, such as you know stockman fly or shredder or April. and real quickly friends before i conclude this review let me just show you the difference between the boxes and so now that we got a brand new uh look on the box and the different size of the box i wanted to show you the difference between well this is our first waves uh box and to our current one so mainly mainly referring to the uh the four inch scale pretty much so, um, anyway, it looks really, really nice looking, you know. I mean, both of them have a nice CGI imagery of all four Ninja Turtles right here on the top and on the side here. And then on the back, it just shows you, you know, the bio. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. It just shows you the bios and what other Ninja Turtle figures you are to be expecting. So, pretty much no big difference in both the boxes. So with the uh, figure is it does not stand rather well, which explains why I have my Tomashi stage holding it. Um... But I do like the fact that how cool the wings look on them. I mean, look how cool they just spread out like that. You know, I mean, you can flex it any other way, like kind of like what a fly does. And so, um, and I'm not really a fan of, you know, the head sculpt. The head sculpt is really, really wacky looking. But I do dig the fact that we do get a candy bar as a content, which is kind of funny. And, um... All around, he's he's very decent. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying he's the best, but he is decent. And uh, it's a shame what they did to uh, poor Baxter Stockman. You know, I mean, uh, they did they mutated him into this, and they treated him wrong when he was a human. So in, in a way, you got to have a heart for the guy, right? But um, anyway, oh, real quick, let me show you this. Um, I forgot to show this in front of the pamphlet, but um, and let me zoom back out for a second. Um, when you do get the uh, pamphlet, you can see uh, um, it's got a nice uh, shot of the four turtles. Leo coming at you, Donnie ready for action, Raph jumping at you, and of course Mikey being all goofy. But um, anyway, so really and truly, do I recommend this figure if you are a Ninja Turtles fan and want to get all the figures, everything that has anything to do with Ninja Turtles, I say go for it, friends. Um, now... In a way, like I said, it is a decent figure, but there are a lot of flaws on this figure. But so far, so good. I mean, the standing and the you know lack of paint, I can look past on that. I mean, if, you, if you're lucky and you have a Tomashi stage like I do, then use it if you can't uh, uh, stand it right. But uh, anyway, with friends, that's it for this review. Please check out my, my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And friends, it's a review on the Nickelodeon Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles Stockman Fly. I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm Eugene, I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And friends, I will most assuredly see you next time. Bye.